use none of that other type of soap, like doll. Toast free milk. This cran watermelon. Yep. Pepper jack cheese. So good. Morning Star spicy black bean. And then I'm trying this one out. And it's just the veggie dogs. I think I tried those pizza bites before, but I'm not sure. So yeah, I got that. But anyways. What happened today? This morning. This customer, okay, not customer, guest. So, I accidentally booked somebody in her room, or to her room. Right. Because in the, in the what's her name, it said that she's supposed to be in one room, but she was in the actual room. And so I booked a guest, another guest. I booked another guest in that room and they tried was trying to get in of course um she was like she called and she's like did 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 you book somebody to this room to my room i was like yeah i'm sorry i didn't i didn't know because it says that you're somewhere else that you're not supposed to be in this room and she's like well i'm in this room i was like okay My apologies, you know. My bad. It ain't like you know nothing happened. You said you was uh you was sleeping in your bed, and you heard somebody at your door, and then she lied this morning. Go tell my coworker that she was standing looking out the out the door, um, out the door at them for 30 minutes, and I'm like, they weren't even there for 30 minutes. They got they <laughs> they. Left, got their stuff, came back, went upstairs, tried to open the door, tried to open the door, left. The wife came down. She said she tried to open the, open the door, and then the husband said, if you can't do it, let me try it. And he tried it. That's not 30 minutes. That's not even five minutes. Maybe five minutes. And that's from them coming, just going up into the room and trying it. That's not five minutes of them trying, trying to uh, get in. So anyway, she lied about that. Okay. So then she came looking for me personally where's Stephanie at I was waiting for I was hoping she was going to come down earlier but she didn't she came down after I got off <clears throat> so 
that's what she she was telling my co-worker then she gonna say something about how she's gonna write a bad review or some shit like that but then gonna say well you need to cop me a couple of rooms hold on now if you're gonna write a bad review what why you why you want to come back So you gotta get a couple of rooms so that you don't write a bad review or you still gonna write a bad review and still want two free rooms. Girl, if you wanna get on my phone? I would've looked at her the same way. And she would've kept, oh my gosh, I, I was waiting for it though, for real. I was hoping that she came down early cause I wanted to see her. And she was like, she came down with an attitude, her face all screwed up. I was like, mm, mm, I bet. But whatever it wasn't my fault anyways because in the computer it says one person one person checked her in it in this room and then another person changed her from that room and put her in another room but then change it back to the room that she was originally in it just showed the room that um they would have that she would have went to so I asked the person, like, what made you change it from that room? And he was like, because it wasn't ready. I said, oh, okay. Well, you didn't put it back in that it wasn't ready, so whatever, whatever. I'm just giving everybody a heads up that, you know, she'll call and be like, hey, somebody came in from me. Ooh, maybe I could do that as an as as ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh yeah, I can I can do that. Hey, my name is Stephanie, and I am a girl. I don't know what the fuck. I don't, I'm not one of those people that come off the dome with shit. It always takes me a minute to think about. Hmm. What can I say? Hey, what is up, Juice Crew? How y'all doing on this Tuesday morning? Trying to stay up because I need to go to Sam's and get me some water. Okay, my eyes do look a little big. Let's close them down. Um, <clears throat> it's what, 8? Eight? 8 o'clock? Eight something in the morning. I can't go into Sam's until 10. But I just want to come on and say, these niggas is weird. <laughs> like, like weird. Since I've been here, since September, I think came across, talked to, text about
these dudes are weird. Old, young, it don't fucking matter. All of them are fucking weird. The only ones that aren't weird are married or outside of my race. Yeah, y'all, I ain't never. <laughs> but it looks like I'm gonna have to brighten my horizon. I'm gonna have to jump on somebody else's bandwagon because this shit here is not what's up. <laughs> Hell no, I'm trying to stay true to the culture. Trying to give me a, you know, I want black children. I actually, I want me a nice dark brown chocolate daughter. And I've been trying to find me a dark skinned man to at least have my daughter darker than me. Cause two light skinned people make light skinned babies. And I, I don't know, just something about brown skin. Ugh. And that deep brown skin, mm, even better to me. To me. So, yeah. And it's like, who else is gonna give me this dark brown baby? <laughs> but these, yes, I call them ninjas. Cause that's what they are. They are And this all happened in days. Not even, this didn't even take time to space itself out. The last two happened within days. D shit, this happened yesterday. <laughs> oh, Lord, I talked to them, no, when I talked to them, I talked to them Sunday. Yeah, I talked to them on Sunday. And that same day, Sunday, he asked, how you looking for a job or asking me about a job? Working and still asking to borrow money. <sighs> no. Then I say, hey, let's hang out. Let's, you know, talk about the old times. Not the old times, the new times. See what's new going on. I think I got ghosted. But nigga, hmm. But then you just ask me for some money. Shouldn't you say, hey, do you need something done? If you need something done, you know, I'll pay you for your for your services. But you won't get no free money from me. No, what? I'm done with that. <laughs> no. I'm I keep learning the hard way. Evidently, I keep just bumping my head with shit. On on that whole type of thing. Yeah, because once again, I'm here by myself doing everything. Not that it's a problem, but damn, I would like to, you know some help every now and then from somebody. Not just everybody looking for my help. Mm. Anyways, we're gonna move on to more positive things. This was just a little bump in the road of talking to some weirdos. I'm just gonna move on. Do, do, do. So anyways, work was okay. I don't do much, y'all know that. I need to upload this video. It's an hour long, ain't that something? But I wanna get it out because it's been a long time coming. It's my old book, boring ass birthday. But as y'all will see, or as y'all have seen, y'all seeing I got my hair cut, I didn't dye my hair. By the time y'all see this, I'm gonna be on to my second haircut and my second dye because I'm gonna go back and take, see if I can exchange it, how long I have. It shouldn't be too long. I think it's only been maybe a week or so. Not even two weeks, maybe almost two weeks. But anyway, see if I can um, get this hair dye again or a lighter color. Maybe I get one box of this color and then a lighter color and kind of mix it around, you know. I don't know, do some shit. Hey, just crew. <laughs> How y'all doing? I think I talked to y'all earlier today. It is very, very later on in the daytime. I mean, at night. 
I am hopefully I'm for sure gonna go out and take some pictures I want to show y'all this just in case I didn't <laughs> go take some pictures but look 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 how cute even with the glasses I didn't think the gla uh, I was gonna try to you know use my other glasses or whatever my purple glasses but look how cute all i need to do is put it on the lip which is not going to be too much because you know i don't want to take away from the hair let me see how i look without my without my glasses on <laughs> sorry i got excited my bad but yes look at this wig Maybe I should have worn this on my birthday. It would have been a little bit better, I guess. But holy. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on and show y'all this right quick. It's 10.33. Uh, my co-worker gets off at 11. He said he will help me. And what I mean by help is um, I just need him to be there. So... You know, while I'm taking pictures and I take, when I'm taking pictures with my glasses off, you know, he has to watch my surroundings because I want to do this at night for this reason. Um, cause I just want some night pictures. I've never took in, um, night pictures. So yeah, I want to take some and this is the opportunity for me too, because he can help. And like I said, all I need him to do is just watch my back. Watch my back. Don't let nobody just come up, you know what I'm saying, doing some extra shit they all need to be doing. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I'm going to brush this some more because the little flips, it's... Okay. <laughs> Hey, what is up, this crew? <laughs> How y'all doing on this Wednesday afternoon? It is 1.36 in the afternoon this Wednesday. I want to come back. Oh, shake my hair out a bit. I want to come back to y'all last night when I came from taking pictures. I actually want to record with y'all, but, um, you know, I have to ask my coworker if he's all right with that, um, and stuff like that. I just forgot. I was trying to stay in the, in the moment of taking pictures because I get out of it and I be taking some weird pics and stuff like that, but... I got a couple of good pics uh, with the help of my coworker. Yay! So I didn't have to sit there taking 50 fucking pics <laughs> of the same pose or a moderated, you know, a move here, move there from um, poses just to get two or three pics that I like. I, I took a couple of pics, got a couple of pics that I like, moved on. So, um,. Yeah, that's that was that. I'm excited. I'm glad I have somebody that is willing to help me. Yes, I went to the beauty supply store to exchange out that to exchange out that um, hair dye that I had. I showed y'all it was very red, and I didn't want the red. <clears throat> And they had this color that I got from the other beauty supply store. So I just went and got this color again. It's the Cognac. But then I also got a lighter color. And it's called Flaming Red. Oh no, Flaming Desire. So I think these two colors will mix together. Like I'll put this Flaming Desire on this like here. Like this top part is going to be lighter. 
then the side that's 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 the look i'm going for now evidently so i really like this clairol it made the at least the conditioner on the inside made my hair feel it makes my hair feel really good after let me see Making sure nothing was tampered because that tape was very lightly taped on there. So I got that. I exchanged that out for those two. It was a dollar more, $7.99. The other ones were $6.99. Then I got some little hair jewelry for when I decide to put my hair. Like if I want to do those three little braids I did last time, put some little jewels at the at the end of them. And they were all for a dollar nineteen, no, a dollar ninety-nine. <clears throat> I went into the mall, Oaks Mall, to return these work pants I got from Lane Bryant, not Lane Bryant, that I got from Torrid. They were a little snuggly. So I returned those. I didn't get anything else because I actually have something coming in the mail <laughs> I didn't return I didn't get anything out of Tori because I knew I was I had something coming in the mail so I went across the way to Bath and Body Works and just got me two more of the Palo Santo room spray these this room spray smells so good I don't know if it Okay, Palo Santo, Palo Santo, Palo Santo. And it's two for 16, so I got two of those. And on my way out, I stopped at Pandora to see if I can find this necklace I seen online that they had. Because I, I, I want another, I just want a necklace, an everyday wear all the time. Um, necklace not that's gonna make my you know skin green or anything like that or make me break out so I was trying to find a, like a real a real necklace um, but they didn't have what I was looking for I might have to order it online but I went through Dillard's I went to Dillard's and I got this purse. It was on clearance. If y'all couldn't see that clearance tag. It was on clearance for $68.25. The original price was $195. How much was the clearance before? Oh, they didn't mark this down three times. I should have waited till they marked it down some more. So this is just a Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren Oops, it's upside down <laughs> Oops, sorry There I think there's like a Like a dupe for The Neverfull From, I don't know who had the Neverfull <clears throat> I don't know what brand has it I just said it because doesn't it look like it's one of those type of bags from that? Um, like, it's just that strap. It has just this little um, clip to hold it together. Like that. And take all this out. Before I use it, I'm going to get one of those purse organizer things from Amazon. I just have to find the right size. I think this is a large. Okay. And so the inside. Yeah, this may be just a large, not an extra large. But pretty big on the inside. If y'all have one of those 
never full bags looks like that tan on the inside has a pocket on has this big little pocket thing that has a zipper and it has two additional pockets you know right here and right there and then the zipper pocket and yeah so I need another purse of course can it go all the way up uh, no, my arms are too fat for that part. Uh, it goes up there, but I'm not going to want it up like that. So, yeah. So, I got this because, you know, I've been rocking my... Rocking my phones in this little pouch. So, I want to put... I want to make sure I can put everything in there. My, pouch, my phone pouch as well. Um... So yeah, I got this new purse and it just has, it's like a purple, plum, burgundy color. Yeah. So this will hold a lot of my stuff. Yeah, and that's what I got yesterday. Hey, just girls. Did I talk to y'all today? I did talk to y'all today. Yeah. So, um. Did I talk to y'all today? Wednesday? Yeah, I did. Um. I went to Walmart because the. The, um. Sam's didn't have my water. So I bought two of these packs of water for fuck hmm. I almost cursed. For six for ten dollars. Six for ten dollars. And I normally get a case, I think it's like fifteen for fourteen dollars. Six plus six more. So I'm getting six more for fourteen dollars, I think or eight more, I don't know, whatever. So I went to go get some water and then I came across some stuff. Um, I, got, I had to get another shirt because one of my shirts um, got stained and I tried to fix it. I didn't miss the three gray shirts. We are allowed to wear gray shirts here, so yeah gray shirts that's a men 3x and that was for ten dollars trying some different types of snacks i think i tried these before and um i got them from sam's one time and then i seen these and these were on clearance for like three dollars and some change so instead of eating candy or cakes or something like that. I can eat some popcorn. Come on, not your heavy tail. For some reason, I had had the urge to buy this. And I don't eat macaroni and cheese. Like, I don't eat macaroni and cheese like that, but for some reason, I just felt the need to buy this. And I bought it. I don't even know how to use this. Whatever. And came across this Stella Rose, Stella Rosa red apple. And then this um, Moscato I like to drink. This was, I don't know, 10, 11. This. Um, Moscato one is like $13. These, I know this is sweet. So, I got that. Stella Rose, y'all know that's sweet too. I don't know if that apple one is sweet, but we gonna try it out and see. Use my little plastic 
stemless wine glass. <laughs> What's in this bag? Um, stuff that I need to stop eating is chips. I got on that kick again with eating chips and I'm a little upset. But I be craving it. I be craving it. Got me some grapes. I hope these grapes are good. I have not washed them. They said they're sweet. A little tart to me. A little tart tart to me, but anyway, now I got some great, and yeah, that's it. Oh, so, anyways, I'm about to make me some black bean burger patty, a black bean, whatever, and um. Yeah, watch some TV, watch some sports. Oh, oops, watch some TV, watch some sports. Um, upload this video, this vlog, and yeah, let me go wash my hands because I need to itch my eyeball. But alright, that's all. That's his all. Hey y'all. So, um, if y'all can't tell from how I looked when I left y'all in the car to now, I done combed out my hair. I'm going to try the melanin, the deep conditioning, silkening, strengthening, deep condition. So, this here. Lab. Lab. Y'all can't really see the words, but whatever. Y'all know if y'all go to um, to the website or whatever, she does um, like a how-to, a little how-to video and talk about each product, which is something I like. Because, you know, just because it says deep condition or, you know, this, this, and the third, you know. You still do it different ways and use it different ways and or, I don't know, just more personal. I don't know, whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to, ooh, hold on. Well, everything, I guess everything don't have to be thick. Hello? Okay, we ain't saying that. <laughs> Ooh. It smells like soap. Like soap, like dish soap. I don't know why I thought of not really done, but what's that? Uh, palm, palm, palm. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But it came out real, it smells real cit citrusy, citrusy. And, um, it got this like yellowish type of something on it. Makes me think it kind of smells like a perm. <laughs> but it's like a citrusy. I'm not going to use this just yet. But I'm going to use the 
African black back. <laughs> African black soap rejuvenating shampoo. Yeah, help help my little po. Yeah, I don't know where this happened from. Like I don't know if it was braids or a perm or something, but it's like a very smooth. You know, like, you know there's no hair going to grow right there because it's, like, really smooth. So, yeah. And then this is also the side that I sleep on. So, this uh, side is thinner than this side. So, I be trying to put, you know, little growth drops and creams and um, balms and greases to see if it's going to help. But nothing really helps but it's like smooth it's bald so i don't think anything's gonna grow there anyways so <laughs> i told my friend i might get a tattoo cover it up <laughs> put some little uh some little hair some little fake hairline so it looks like i have hair right there <laughs> yeah no yeah. well just a suggestion Okay, so I'm gonna use the deep cut, not the other deep condition, the soap black Jamaican. Oh, I didn't say it's black Jamaican, black uh, African black soap shampoo, and then this leave in condition. No, because I'm about to blow dry my hair, so technically, do y'all blow your hair with leave in conditioner? And this is kind of thick, so I don't want to really put that in to be balanced. So, I'm about to put this in my hair, spray a little water on it, comb it through, let it sit, everything, blow dry, take a nap, part, part it, take a nap, wake up, braid. Tell me why I got five bags of this hair. I think this might this might match my hair color. One lady was telling me 99J and I was like 99J that's too you know about as close as I could get. This is T530. Let me see how I take this out. And they only had in 30 inches like the other color she I was trying to get, it was like, I don't know, TB, sign, blah, 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 uh, burgundy. Oop. And it was kind of too red, red. So, I think, oh well, kind of. It matches more than the other color she was trying to give me. Close, as close as it's gonna get. So the other, the other colors were too burgundy and they were too red. And my hair is not really either one of those colors. It's not really burgundy. It's like it's supposed to be cognac. And what is cognac? Like a brownish red, right? But I got five bags. For this, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to do big braids. I, I'm gonna try to do as big as I can. I feel so weird doing big braids. I'm always end up doing small braids. But anyway, y'all, this is the hair. And damn, this is a lot of hair, girl. This will be, yeah, this is sitting on it. I'll be sitting on it. Because I ain't cutting shit. I ain't cutting shit. <laughs> Bye, y'all. So this is how it looks. I use the conditioner, the deep conditioner, and the shampoo. And... 
y'all can't really tell but it looks and it feels so good like I feel all the curls, like I feel the curls deep in, like you can't really tell from the outside because my, the inside is more coily than the, than the, um, the ends are. I don't know, whatever. But you can still see some, you know, some little straight pieces or whatnot. But in here, in here, I feel the curls. They feel juicy. <laughs> Hey, juice girl. Try to ignore the hair. <laughs> oh, I'm just waking up of my sleep. I'm just waking up. But I wanted to come to y'all real quick before I get started because it was on my on my mind and got a comment on this last vlog I posted the weekly vlog about me getting my hair cut and all that stuff and changing colors and um you know that whole breakup two breakup things i was <clears throat> i told y'all about and i got this comment from one of y'all and it's not it wasn't a bad comment but it was what the person said and it was like I need to, I should find, I should strive to find a person. Uh, it's probably gone now. Yeah, I should strive to find a life partner or something or another. And it's like, I, you know, I am, I'm not just, get into relationships with people just to say I'm getting into relationship with people. Um, when I meet somebody, I do the whole rigmarole type of thing and to get to know them. So one, the first relationship I was telling y'all about <clears throat> my friend that I, that I have been friends with for a couple of years. Um, that relationship was a non sexual relationship. I hadn't even met him until the beginning of this year. Like, literally. I met him in January. Um, when I met him, without telling all our business, when we first met, that was the relationship. The relationship was him giving me gifts I was receiving. I didn't need to give out anything he was fine with just you know giving me things and a person like me if y'all are a person like me or think like me or whatever i don't mind receiving gifts but i'm also one of those people who like to give to to show like my appreciation and things like that and it was nothing i could do to show my appreciation um when he sent me things he sent them to me no return address so there was nothing i could return to the you know to him and so you know we just after them years he was there for me you know my mom passed when my auntie passed when i was going through he's just he's been that friend to me the whole time and it's like you know why can't you be my man but we had already you know it's all we already know that but it was just you know somebody i talked to all the time somebody who, that was there to comfort me you know that's like he's like my comfort zone and if i'm staying in my comfort zone i would never find the person who's actually supposed to be with me because i'm staying where i feel comfortable he makes me feel comfortable i can talk to him about anything <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's a friend that you actually want to have. But I also had feelings for him. I also, you know, grew to really liking him. Really wanting him to be more than just this friend. But, you know, that's how, that's what that relationship was. And so that's why I said I had to let that, that relationship go because that's my comfort zone i just thought about that that when i said that it was like yeah he he is my comfort zone he is the per he is a person that i would want to be with 
that will be, you know, put him just in another man that I'm supposed to, I was supposed to be with, you know? The second relationship was just a situationship. Something that shouldn't happen but happened. Just kind of part of my karmic cycle and things like that. It's like some things you just supposed to go through. Those were the things I just was supposed to go through, learn from it, move on. So, hope I cleared those two little breakup things up a little bit because I really didn't say much in the video, but then everybody's assuming. And it's like, when you assume, you're making an ass of yourself. That's what they say. And I don't want people to assume that um, I was sleeping with somebody else's man, dealing with somebody else's, you know, man like that, or I was doing it some part of it was intentionally because that's all he wanted to do was just give so i mean i wasn't taken from the other person because he had a lot to give and you know i asked all those questions before i even you know started receiving because i don't want to old people i don't want people coming to me Years later, talking about, you know, I re you remember I was giving you all of this stuff here. You know, now it's time to pay up from all the stuff that I was giving. I don't, I don't want that, and I don't like that. I don't like when people try to, you know, you know, do stuff like that to other people. Um, it hasn't really. <sighs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Why I do this to myself? So I only got like five pieces left to do. Y'all, these braids are so long. So, so, so long. And I have to finish braiding the ends. Um, a thick, I don't know, curl though or something. You know, dip them, dip them in uh, some hot water. All that good stuff. Maybe get uh, <clears throat> a hot towel and put it along the braids to kind of seal, you know, this upper part of them. But as long as my arm and then some. So, yeah. I started maybe, I watched two basketball games. So the first game was on when I started. So I say maybe seven, eight, seven thirty-eight is when I started. Um, and then went all the way to five o'clock. But shit, I didn't even know it was five o'clock. I was just like, you know, just braiding or whatnot. And then I looked at that clock. That mug said four seventeen. I was like, oh, let me just do these last four braids in the back. When I'm done with that, I go to sleep. By the time I got done, it was five something. And so yeah, that's that. Um. So yeah. I do about six pieces to get the six to seven pieces because some of them, um, I guess when I'm braiding, I'm not catching the full braid thing and some of it's, you know. So it's between six to seven pieces of hair. I do the bigger pieces in the front and then the, the additional, you know, smaller pieces are like, <sighs> y'all know if y'all are braiders. So. They were already, what, 30 inches. The braid itself was already 30 inches. I've already used uh, one full pack. Let's see? Yeah, it's already 30 inches. So, yeah, I've used one full pack already. This is my second pack. And I think I'm only going to use maybe half of this. And then I have what's left of from last night is this and this probably probably would make about uh, 
maybe two more braids yeah and then have a little bit left over to start for the third braid so yeah about two or so braids so yeah i'm gonna get started get things going because um my friend my co-worker he's gonna come by and clip um clip my ends not clip my ends y'all <laughs> shave my sides and then shave off these pieces that also you know need to go so yeah he'll be here in a couple of hours i told him i got a couple of braids left and um so yeah he'll be here in a couple of hours once i'm done oh i can't show y'all hold on all right y'all finally i'm finally finally done Ugh. A co-worker came and did my sides for me. And yeah, so we are done. I have to dip the ends or whatever, but I just tied them at the end. If y'all ever done freestyle braids, tied at the end so it can still hang out, whatever. So don't look at the background of course like i said i have i'm in a limited amount of space um okay this is listen listen i'm just trying to show y'all the length of the hair <sighs> lord i gotta take a shower i got hair and shit all on me so it's about way past booty. I don't even know if y'all can see. It's way past booty. It's like um, under under the booty. Yeah. See, do it this way. Yeah. See. Yeah, it's like almost to my knees. Ooh, y'all, I'm tired. I'm tired and I'm hungry. 